All right, for part two, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on everything standing up. If you haven't got any water, you need to take a break, just pause the video and go do that now. First, we're going to start off with squats. Now, I've seen this post a few times on Facebook, and all you do for proper squats, and it's worked out for myself, is grab your earlobes, and, it, and your arms are crossed over, and you're going to slowly go down. Now, I do not go down all the time and all the way down, but if you slowly build up to it, you can go all the way down into a proper squat. And I'm just going to show you what a proper squat in my estimation looks like. It's where your shoulders and your feet are about the same distance apart, your back is nice and straight, and when you come down, you go all the way down and all the way up. Now, when doing weights, when you're around a professional, They'll show you exactly what to do, but this is what I've learned, especially in doing free weight squats when you want to open up your legs as much as possible, especially your glutes. When I've done that, I go into my arm tornadoes. Now the arm tornadoes are palms facing down, rotating forward, and you're going to be doing this about 10 to 15 times. Now like I said before, I do it up to 30 times. This is just for the sake of the video. Alright, and now I'm going to do the reverse, which means palms up, nice tight circles, going to get bigger each time, bigger, bigger, nice and fluid and slow, because remember, this is not a movement that you're going to do a lot, and it's a lot more intense than going forward. Alright, now once I've done that, what I'd like to do is I want to get my shoulders and my arms stretched out and involved for the rest of the stretches and or work it I'll be, workout I'll be doing. So I'm going to put my right arm nice and straight into the air and I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to turn around to show you what I do in this stretch and I'm going to connect the two. Okay? And I'm going to, if you can only get to here that's fine, but for myself I can actually grab and hold. And this stretch is fantastic to open your body up overall. All right. I, again, I love getting your entire body involved when you do a stretch. All right. So hold that for about 10 seconds. Now we're going to switch. Okay. Do the same thing. Okay. So again, if you can only go up to here, that's fine. If you do here, it's fine for myself. I like to try and use my fingers, grab and hold. And there you go. You're holding the stretch. All right. The next two are going to focus primarily on your legs. This is an ankle roll as well as a knee and hip opener. Alright? Some people call it a can opener as well. All I'm going to do for this is I'm going to just gently roll my ankle. If you're a soccer or basketball player, actually if you play any sport, this is really big because a lot of people don't take the time to focus on their ankles and open their ankles up because if you don't, you're going to be in a position where you just tweak your ankle to the left or the right and boom, you've ended up, hurt, end up hurting yourself for a very long time. Now I'm going to flip and switch directions and keep rolling my ankle here. Again, I'm going to do this only about 10 times. Usually I do this around 30 times. And hopefully once you've watched this video a few times, if you like what I'm doing, you'll be able to do this on your own for as long as you like to open up your entire body. All right. So now I'm just going to switch that up. Sorry if my form is imperfect. <laughs> a little bit tired here talking as well as doing this. I'm a lot more. I have a lot more concentration when I'm actually just thinking about you know each individual muscle and opening up properly. All right. So the next one I'll be doing is uh, it's basically the can opener. And so I'm going to have my hands on my hips and I'm just going to slowly rotate my knees and my hips. Now this looks a little funky, <laughs> looks a little funny, but I'm telling you, this is one of the best ways to keep yourself out of trouble. And it's interesting because when you think about it, right, and I'm going to actually switch directions in one rotation, but when you think about it, a lot of the times you do these pre preemptive strikes. You do these things that are going to s prevent problems from happening in your body. And you'll, you know, people will see you and they might, you know, kind of snicker or scoff, which I've had happen in the past at the gym. But you find that a lot of people you don't see coming back all the time, whether it be at the gym or doing a stretch or a workout. And it's because they may, maybe it's other circumstances, but they may or may, have, may, or may not have hurt themselves. And you want to stay away from being hurt. And the longer you can go without getting hurt, the stronger your body gets in general. So it's always a win-win when you really take the time to do things properly for your body. The next is going to be, which we've done a few times if you watch the videos in the past, is touch the sky and touch your toes. 
Very simple again, we're going to go all the way up as high as we can, as high as we can, as high as we can. Looking up into the sky, holding for around 10 seconds, nice and straight, and then you're going to slowly come down to your knees. And for myself, you're just going to slowly walk down until you feel that you have got to a point where your knees aren't stretched and your or you aren't bent forward and your body is getting a nice stretch. For me, the best scenario is that I get my toe, my feet, uh, sorry, my hands underneath my toes here and I just lock it in place, pull my knees back to the best of my abilities and just hold it for as long as I can. Like I said, anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. All right. The next I'm going to do is the oblique stretch, which I did in week three. And the oblique stretch is I'm going to stick my hand up straight in the air and I'm just going to slowly move over. Now my left hand, this is my right hand that's in the air, my left hand is just going to be putting, is going to be put right beside my left knee and I'm going to hold this oblique stretch and I'm going to tighten the other side of my obliques and you can feel your abdominals getting stretched out as well. Just hold this here. Now some people say you don't even have to put your hand over the top of your body. You can just do the oblique stretch like this. For myself, I guess the added weight, whatever it might be, just tightens the oblique and I feel it a lot more. Now I'm going to do the opposite. Here we go. Hold this for around 10 seconds. My right hand is around on my right knee. Maybe a little different between if your arms are longer or a little bit shorter. For me, I'm like literally touching my kneecap here. All right. The last stretch I'm going to do, standing. Uh, sorry, two more stretches I'm going to do. I, I forgot one of my favorite stretches. Is I'm going to be doing just a normal quad uh, stretch. So I'm just going to either put my hand straight out or put my hand straight into the air. I'm going to grab on, oh, if you see here, I'm not going to grab my toes and I'm not going to grab my shin. I'm going to grab my ankle and I'm just going to pull and I'm going to hold the quad stretch here to the best of my abilities. Hold, hold, hold. All right. And 10 seconds release and I'm going to switch sides just to show you again going to go for my ankle, that's the strongest point that you want to get to as well because if you're holding your toes or your shin you can potentially hurt yourself, you're holding the joint and you're just going to hold, hold, hold and there you go. That will get your quads nice and stretched out. Now I want to stretch out my hamstrings, my quads, everything at one time. I'm just going to go forward with my right knee, my back is nice and straight my shoulders are pulled back, my chest is out, and I'm going to lean forward with my back foot planted, which is my left foot. My legs are like solid steel at this moment, okay? Not because of the workout, because you're actually getting most of your entire legs involved in this stretch, and your abdominals, nice and tight as well. And you're just going to hold, you can stretch your arms out if you'd like, you can go into a, um, you know, put your hands in behind your neck, and you're just going to hold this for around 10 to 20 seconds. And then you're going to flip and do the same thing, same stretch, and you're going to slowly bend as far as you can. Now, if you really want to put some more emphasis on this stretch, just keep wedging out until you have a proper set of balance and until you feel comfortable. And you're just going to go down and you're going to go down even further, but make sure that back heel isn't lifted up because if you don't, then the stretch is pretty much gone. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus, pin, or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe.